really excited that my Hamilton syringes came in. Not a paid endorsement, but I really love these syringes when you're injecting small volumes onto your FPLC, so like your Acta. These will allow you to do really small volumes. So this one's a 250 microliter one, but they have even smaller ones. And what's really nice is it's fused. The needle and the syringe part are fused together. So you don't have to worry about sample volume loss in that region. So you can get these needles that you can use a disposable syringe with, but basically the disposable syringes, so the smallest one that we even had is one mil, and these kind of suck. And they also, you lose liquid going from here to here. It doesn't even screw in. With a larger syringe, you can actually lock it onto here. But with the larger syringe, then you're also going to be losing more volume in, in all of this stuff. And so you're and then you're more liable to get air when you're pulling things up if your volume is too big compared to what you're trying to pull up. No matter what type of syringe you're using, you want to make sure that when you're in your sample, you're, type, you're pulling up really slowly so that you're watching it, making sure you don't have any bubbles. It's nicer too with these Hamilton ones, you can really easily see the end of the plunger and it's straight. I hate how these plungers have like a plastic thing sticking down so you can't really tell what volumes are what. Here it's just this nice thing and you can go and you can make the size that you want. Salmon proteins in here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to come in. If I want to inject all of it, then I'm going to take the tip to the very bottom and suck it up nice and slow. You can see I'm checking there's no bubbles forming in my syringe and I'm making sure that I stop right when I get to the bottom up here so I don't pull up any air. Voila! I'm ready to go inject and so I went slow so I didn't get bubbles up here and I went slow so I didn't get bubbles down here and now it's ready to inject and if I wanted to do a specific volume instead of just injecting all of it I just Again, pull slow so I don't get bubbles up here, and then look at the top of the line. When you're washing it, you want to go past the end line so you make sure you're washing the entire volume that you want. One more thing is if they, they do come all the way out, so just be careful that you don't pull too far. But then when you're doing a specific sample volume, you can actually pull up the sample volume that you want to pull up and pull up really slowly. Just make sure that like then once you go to the bottom of your tube, you want to stop right when your tip is at the bottom of the liquid, like right before you pull up any air and then you're good to go and inject onto your column. And so really excited. I got a couple 250 ones and a couple of 500 microliter ones. So we're using them. The only bad thing is that they're heavier and because they're glass and so it's actually we don't have one of those holder things to hold your injection needle in place and so we may do with some with some tape so that we don't have our needles kind of like wonky so that we don't bend this one thing about these though is because this is not disposable you want to make sure you clean it really really well after you use it and so not just the needle part but you've got to actually clean the whole syringe um, and, but I mean, like, you have to do the same thing basically anyway to clean the needle, but here you just want to make sure that you're keeping good maintenance of this. Speaking of which, the boxes come with like a cleaning wire and you can buy cleaning wires separately as well. And so it's just a really thin wire that you can go in there and clean them with. But typically, as long as you take them out right away, I mean, like after you, your run is over, so you want to keep the needle in there during the run, but then take it out wash it with um wash it with water and ethanol and water and then you're good to go and so again you want to have ethanol in between water and any buffer so that you don't precipitate salts the boxes for all these Hamilton ones like look identical and so it's good to like actually label them and label the styrofoam as well as the box that they came in so that you know know which one's which and so yeah they come in a bunch of different sizes and that's that's that.